Hey everyone, welcome to GRC 31 Intermediate Photoshop. This class is all about learning about Photoshop, but more for graphic designers. Um, Photoshop is used by so many different industries from animation to photography to graphic design, uh, but we're really going to focus on a bit of um, playing with images, how to enhance images, and then using text and graphic design principles to create great designs. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk a bit about some important information that you need to know to be successful in this course, um, as well as things like what materials you need and how to access the textbook for absolutely free. All right, so let's get to it. So some house cleaning type of stuff first. Um, the best way to contact me is definitely through email. I do check multiple times a day, so I'm pretty quick to respond. Um, I do try to unplug at least once on um, Saturdays or Sundays and not really <laughs> look at email or my computer or anything. I'm on here all the time. So if you do email me on the weekends, it might take me a little bit longer to respond. During the week, I'm pretty quick on it though. Now, if you do need to send me an attachment, such as maybe you're having an issue and I ask you to send me a screenshot of the issue, um, I would say go ahead and email me straight from your inbox to my inbox uh, versus basically don't use Canvas messaging for that because sometimes Canvas will mess up attachments or I won't get them or I can't see them or something weird like that. All right, so um, I also have office hours. Um, I have one hour Monday through Fridays, uh, every Monday, Every day, Monday through Fridays, I have an hour where it's just devoted to being available to you guys. Um, if you want to come and ask questions, maybe you have an uh, issue about a grade, maybe you don't know what's going on with a specific assignment, I'm available during these times. Please check the homepage for those specific times and locations. All right, so some course information. You're going to be graded on class participation via discussion boards, which are 25 points lab assignments, which are 25 to 100 points. Most of them are 25 points. There's a couple that are a little bit more intense. A midterm exam and a large final project, which is 250 points. You see that that has the most points um, out of everything, mainly because at that point, I want to see that you take everything you've learned all semester and apply it to one big project. It's really fun too. All right, so each week you can expect to watch or read one lecture, very similar to this. I do a video lecture and talk about a specific topic. Um, you should participate in one discussion board and you will be turning in one to two lab assignments. It's usually two lab assignments, uh, except for when we get to the larger ones, then you only have one per week. But for the most part, it's two lab assignments and this does include the textbook assignments. So it's usually one assignment is from the textbook and one of them is, well, what I call the fun assignments. <laughs> um, not that the textbook's not fun, but you know, a little bit more creative assignments. All right. So, um, something that you should know though, is that I do use discussion boards and lab assignments to take attendance. This is really important. So as per the Fresno city college attendance policy, if you miss two days in a row, or three before the midterm, you can be dropped. So keep up on these, make sure that you're posting, make sure that you're completing your assignments and you'll be fine. So let's talk about some due dates real quick. So with the discussion boards, there are two due dates. Basically you're, you have the discussion, you see the discussion and you need to do your first post. You need to reply to the main discussion board. That's what I call your initial post. And that needs to be done by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. You then have two days to respond to another um, student's post. I mean, and you can totally get this done on Wednesday if you want. Uh, I encourage you to, so you don't forget to come back. Um, but then yes, you must reply to someone else by Friday. Lab assignments are also due by Friday at 11.59 p.m. I will be giving extra credit assignments. There's four extra credit assignments. I give them during midterm week um, because midterm week, there's really we're not really doing much except for you're studying for the midterm and then taking the midterm. So I figure if you get through that fast, then maybe you can start on some extra credit. Now, um, these extra credit assignments are not due till the last week of the semester, the last Wednesday of the semester. So you have all semester to do them. But if you want to get a jump on it, you totally can. 
All right, uh, the final project will be due on the final Wednesday of the semester. And with all of these, you can definitely turn assignments in early. I'm completely fine with that. Let's say you know you have something big coming up in your life um, and you know you're going to be stressed on time. You can totally get stuff done earlier. The, the big thing to think about, though, with that is to make sure that you come back to any discussion boards and put in your reply so you don't miss your points on there. Okay, so let's talk about makeup or redoing assignments. So for discussion boards, the midterm and the final project, there's no redos, there's no making them up. You're either there or you're not. So make sure you're there. Um, for lab assignments, um, they are, like I said, due on Fridays. Now, I will usually leave a comment as to why you were marked down. And when you turn in your assignment on time, you will be eligible to redo the assignment if you are not satisfied with your grade. Um, let's say there was a miscommunication, you didn't quite understand what you needed to do, and then I give you some feedback, I do the grading, and you're like, oh, okay, I get it now, you can totally redo it. Now, again, that's only if you turn it in on time. And just an FYI, um, I, if I mark you down, I will, I will leave some type of comment. Now for late work, so for discussion boards, your, like I said, your initial um, response is due on Wednesdays, but if you miss this deadline, you can post up until Sunday. Okay, so let's say you forgot, Wednesday night comes and goes, you forgot, you can still post up until Sunday, but you will be marked down. You'll be marked down 10 points. So that's quite a bit. Okay, they're worth 25 points. Getting marked down 10 points is, you know, ugh. So, I mean, if it happens once in a while, some points are better than none. But if you are missing this many points consistently over and over, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to pass the class. Um, you would just, it's just a math thing, okay? <laughs> so, like I said, once in a while, you know, it's understandable, things happen. Um, but if you're doing it consistently, it's, it's not going to work. Don't get in the habit of like, oh, I'll just wait till the weekend. You probably won't pass the class if you do that. All right. So with the lab assignments, um, again, due on Fridays, if you miss a deadline, I will accept them up to Sunday at 11:59 PM. Now you will be marked down five points. Okay. So, um, that's 20%. So if lab assignments, most of them are worth 25, uh, points. Now, uh, I should change this. I should change this to 20%. The lab assignments are most of them are worth 25 points. 5% of that is, or five points is 20% of that. That'll go for the larger assignments too. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so you will be marked down the five points. Basically, you won't be able to get higher than a B on it. Um, and the other big thing is you will not have that option to redo the assignment. So, you know, if you're okay with just getting a B or a C in the class, then, uh, you know, getting it in by Sunday might be okay for you. I don't recommend it because like I said, you know, you, it, if it's consistent, you know, if you end up, if you do this all the time, then you miss a really big assignment, then you're going to be screwed for the semester. Okay. Um, and you don't have that option to redo it. So I don't recommend it, but like I said, I do understand stuff happened. Now, with all of this being said, if there is something extreme going on in your life, like super extreme circumstances, um, talk to me, reach out to me via email, come to my office hour, um, let me know what's going on. I am human too. And so, you know, if, if something, you know, knock on wood, if something really, you know, crazy happens during the semester, come talk to me and let's see what we can figure out. No guarantees, but it's better to come and talk to me than just assume that you're not going to be able to get any points for the missing assignments. All right. So let's talk about how much time you need for this course. This is a three unit class um, and it is a lab class. So that means that you should be devoting about six to 11 hours per week to this course. All right. So this includes going over lectures, um, participating in discussion boards, doing the reading assignments and the lab assignments. Now, some people are going to need more time. Some people are going to need less time. 
So the best bet, especially at the beginning of the semester, is to just get everything done as soon as you can in the week so that you kind of gauge how much time you actually need for the course. And along with that, um, you know, even before I was teaching, I worked from home for a really long time. And one of my biggest tips um, for working from home, doing online classes, is create a schedule for yourself. Yes, I know you don't have to be, you know, on campus Monday through Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. But creating that schedule for yourself will help you be successful. Um, it, it makes it a lot harder to put things off. And then you, you put things off and you get stressed out. And trust me, you don't want to go down there. You want to avoid that anxiety. So make your own schedule, whether it's, you know, 9 p.m. to midnight on certain days or whatever it is early in the morning, what, whatever works with your work schedule, your life schedule, um, but make some, make it something that's consistent. Okay. So anyways, when do we meet? So this class is asynchronous, which means that you review lectures and assignments and all that on your own schedule. We do not meet on zoom. Okay. Um, my lectures, I record the lectures, I upload them, you watch them when it's convenient for you and you turn in the assignments and work on the assignments when it's convenient for you. Of course, paying attention to the due dates though. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what equipment do you need? You do need a digital camera. Now you can use your camera phone. That's fine for our purposes. Um, if you have a fancier camera, that's fine too. I also teach photography classes. So if you do have a fancier camera and you have some questions, come talk to me. I can probably answer it. You also need a device that allows you to access the internet. Now, I recommend that you have a desktop or laptop that runs either uh, Mac OS or Windows. Um, unfortunately, Chromebooks and such are the kind of like the equivalent of um, a tablet with a keyboard, as in they won't they won't actually run Photoshop, like the desktop version of Photoshop. Okay. And here is a link to the requirements to run the desktop version of Photoshop, the RAM requirements for computer and such, if you need, if you'd like to check beforehand. Now, um, the Adobe software, you know, Photoshop is completely free to you this semester. You do not have to pay for it. And part of your um, assignment this week is going to be to actually download it and get it all figured out. If you have any issues with this, please reach out to me. Okay. There's always going to be some kind of stuff going on when we're dealing with technology. So if there's issues, reach out. Okay. So, um, if your device cannot support the use of Photoshop and that's the desktop version of Photoshop using, um, you know, I know that there's Photoshop apps. I, I have them. I have a, a Photoshop app on my phone and on my iPad and it's really fun, but it does not have the amount of power that the desktop, um, we call it the desktop version. It can be run on a laptop too. Um, that those that that version actually has. So that's what we're using for this class. We're not just using the app that you can like download from the app store and such. Okay. We're using the desktop version, but if your device cannot support that, you can use what's called a Porto, which is a virtual desktop service. Basically you log in and it links you to uh, another computer that you're using as a desktop. It's like a windows desktop. Now this works. Okay. That's why I recommend that you have a desktop computer or a laptop. Um, yeah. So reach out to me if you need help with this, we can figure it out. I can give you some more tips. All right. So let's talk about the textbook. So this is the textbook. It's the Adobe Photoshop CC classroom in a book 2020 release. Now you have free access to this as a student. Okay. So let me show you real quick. Um, and I do have a full video. Well, let me get to this part first. So if we go to the Fresno city college website and click on the library, let's scroll on down. Whoops. Not move everything. Just scroll. Just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. All right. And you're going to click on articles dash research databases. I don't know why it's not under books. I don't know, whatever, but it's under articles. And then you're going to click on the O up here. And that first um, entry here is O'Reilly for higher education. And you're going to click there. Oh, I'm signed in still. Let's uh, let me sign out. Okay. 
just let me go back here. All right. So you'll come to a screen like this once you hit that um, O'Reilly link. And it's going to ask you to select your institution. It's not listed here, so just click on this. Not listed. Click here. Cool. Now, um, at this point, you would put in your school email and click Let's Go, and you would create an account. And it's free, completely free, free to use. Um, I have already have accounts. I have I've done this video multiple times and have used all my emails to create accounts, so I can't do this part for you to show you. But if you've signed up for any kind of account on the internet before, you know the drill. So anyways, once you have an account, the next time you come back in, you would actually click on already a user. The first time you're going to put in your school email and go to let's go. The second time and every time after that, you're going to go to already a user. Click here. So let me do that real quick and put in my email and put in my password. All right, put in my password. Um, hit enter and this is basically what O'Reilly looks like. Let me resize this really quick There we go. All right, so now we need to see what is our book Adobe CC and a all right Do 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 I'm gonna hit command or control um, if you're on a Windows machine uh, C to copy that and then I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna come up here to the search toolbar Hit Command or Control V and then enter. All right, and we have some different options. They have a bunch of the different releases here. And wow, I gotta scroll pretty far. There it is. So the one we're using right now is um, this little girl with the teddy bear looking out the window. Now, what's nice is that once you've done this, um, I don't know if you noticed, but on my homepage, this book was actually on the right side because I'm using it for this class, right? So it'll be a lot easier to find, you know, actually, let me show you. Click here and then see, here's your history. And you can even click all, see all if you have multiple books for multiple classes, but then you can just click here. All right. So, um, here is the book right over here is the, um, let me see the, all the different chapters going on. So here we go. And you can see, so if I click on this one, getting to know the work area, it's going to go straight in here. Awesome. Now, um, you can also, so right here, you can see that we're in this first chapter to go to the second chapter. You can either go back here, you can click up here. Pretty cool. Um, you can search within the chapter for a specific thing. So let's say you're studying for the midterm and you're like, oh, I don't remember uh, where that was or you know, you know the chapter, but you don't know what exactly, you can totally search in here. You can also change things, you know, depending on your device, it's gonna look differently. So you can change the font size, the color modes, um, the reader width, okay? So, you know, change it up depending on the device that you are reading on. If you want to buy the book, it's totally up to you. Um, the information is right here, but um, I like using books that are free. Hey. <laughs> so here we go. That's the book you need. Now, if you need help with this again, I do have another video here. Now, keep in mind this one I made for um, the, the book I search is for another class. So when it gets to the searching the book part, go ahead and make sure that you're searching our book. Okay, guys. So course navigation, the best way to get through this class is to go to modules and let me go back up here real quick and then show you. So every week is broken down into a complete module. So you know what you need to do. There's no searching around. Okay. So you have the intro. This is always just like an introduction to what you're going to be doing this week. Um, I think I usually put, yeah, I put like a, an example of the um, fun tutorial we'll be doing and stuff like that. There'll be a lecture and then the discussion that you need to be um, participating in. The due date is for the Wednesday. So January 12th is Wednesday. Um, but then, you know, it, uh, the next due date will be Friday and that's not listed. So that's where it kind of gets tricky. Like you got to remember to come back in here. Then you have your lab assignments and that's it. 
that's everything you need to do for week one. And it goes the same. Week two, same thing, okay? Discussion, lecture, lecture, lab, lab. Um, now, this week there is a part one and a part two, but most weeks it's just one, the lecture is all on just one page, all right? I try to keep it simple. Um, it wasn't too long ago when I was a student, so I remember. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. We're almost done here. Hold on, hold on. Um, all right, so how to see comments on your assignment. So if you don't know how to do this, if this is your first time in Canvas or something, feel free to watch this. I'll leave that up to you. I do have a weekly announcement I put out to kind of remind you guys, hey, you're in this class <laughs> and what we're going to be doing. Um, so if you don't have your notifications uh, set up, here is some information on how to do that. If you're new to Canvas, there's some info there. If you need Canvas support, there's a link here. We also have a student technology support phone number. So if you need to actually talk to someone, you're having a hard time logging in, whatever, um, you can totally call them up and get some help. Now this next section, um, I'm going to leave up to you guys to read if you want. This just tells you a little bit about my own educational journey. Uh, basically, it took me a really, really long time to get through school and I've been through so many different challenges, um, so many different things. And one of the biggest things that I found and I didn't do for so long was ask for help. Sounds so simple. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I try to ingrain this in you guys to come to me for help because I didn't do it and it really made things go way, you know, took way longer than they should have really. Um, but you know, we're all on our own journeys. No judge, no judge. Um, but yeah, so along with that idea of asking for help, I've listed a bunch of student resources here for you. There's, so this first area is, um, links that can help everyone, things like online counseling, tutoring, Ram Pantry, you get free food. Who doesn't like free food? Um, <laughs> psychological services as students, you are eligible for free therapy. Oh, I wish I would have done that when I was a student. Woo, save me some tears. Um, and then this next section is a little bit more specialized for your specific um, life. So things like disabled students, um, programs and services, um, having to do with, uh, there's programs for the African American male experience, the American Indian indigenous people of the Americas, uh, veterans, single parents, low income parents, free childcare. Like there's just so many things. Um, you know, if you're uh, undocumented, if you, love school and do really, really great in school. Um, you know, there's even an association for the needs of the academically excellent students. So there's just so many different programs that are absolutely free to you. So take advantage of them. They're here for you. So, you know, just do it. Okay. Trust me. It'll make your life a lot easier. So last but not least, my three big tips to success is give yourself plenty of time. Start early in the week. Get things done as early as possible so you're not stressing on it. You don't have anxiety about it going on throughout your week. Um, take a look at assignments early each week, okay? Because, you you know, we're doing all this stuff through email and such. So if you're looking at assignments early in the week then and you have questions, you can email me. And then I have time to email you back. And then you have another question, you have time to email me back again, right? So if you're taking a look at all these assignments and starting early when you come up with issues, um, it's a lot easier to help out, okay? And last but not least, read and watch everything thoroughly. Don't stop when there's, you know, 30 seconds left in the video or something like that. You never know what's going to be at the tail end. That's going to be the key, whether, you know, it's success or not on an assignment. So um, pay attention. Don't skim. Be focused. Give your full attention. Be present when you're doing your schoolwork and you're going to do a whole lot better. All right. So I am so excited to start this journey with you guys. Um, I've been working in Photoshop for over 20 years and I love the program. I love everything that you do that you can do within all the creativity. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys create.